Hello and welcome to Getting Started with R. This is an introductory video for the Data Topics series of workshops. I'm Ryan Womack, Data Librarian at Rutgers University Libraries. I'm based in Alexander Library on the New Brunswick campus. And this video is for those who want a little guidance downloading R, downloading R Studio, getting those set up and installed um, so that the workshops themselves can focus just on the, the content. So this video will be linked off of several of the workshops that use R and R Studio. But I just want to talk very briefly about, you know, what those are and what, what to do with them um, if you haven't, haven't uh, dealt with them before. So uh, the LibGuide link, all the links will be down below in the description. Just check there. Uh, there's a GitHub repository that has the materials for this whole series. Um, and in each of the folders that will be there um, that make use of R Studio and R will have a getting started with R link. That getting started with R link um, has some basic starting points. Um, the first starting point would be the R project site, rproject.org. Uh, this is where you would go to download the R software itself. So R is open source. Uh, that means it's free to download. It also means it's free to inspect the code and use in a variety of contexts. And that's the thing that has led R to grow fantastically large um, with over 20,000 packages. I'm going to say over 20,000 packages at the time of viewing, uh, creating this video. It's just shy of uh, 20,000, but by the time you watch it, I'm sure it'll be 20,000. Um, because the R Projects site is having a little technical glitch while I'm filming this, um, I am using a mirror of that site, uh, but it's basically the same thing. Um, the mirror made available through R Studio. Okay, so open source software, you just want to go to this site and download the version for your operating system. So if you've got Windows, you want to download the base link where it says install R for the first time. Uh, it'll show you the latest version. Click to download. Once it's downloaded, click on it to open it up and extract and install the, the R environment. This will give you R plus a, uh, a standard graphical environment to work with R. That's not as powerful as R Studio, but it, you know, it comes with, with R um, in Windows. If you download the Mac version, I should say a word about the R tools first. So you, you are really unlikely to need the contrib and old contrib packages because packages are the extra features of R. When you download R for the first time, you're getting uh, the kind of standard basic statistics, graphics, um, but many, 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 most of the features that are used in R are made available through add-on packages. That's where I said there's going to be over 20,000 of those. Um, and you don't install those from this site, even though they are described and listed on this site, um, including this very useful thing called the task views, which breaks up the packages into kind of topical categories and then describes the useful packages in those areas. So each of these little unique names, NLME, I clicked on mixed methods just randomly, um, mass, uh, these are just, you know, different packages, in this case, fitting different models. When you click on a name, you will get this description, and we, we have a workshop about packages that goes into much more detail about this. Um, so when we say a package in R, what we mean is a collection of things that has a certain, certain functions uh, that are described in a reference manual um, to you know, do some specific tasks 
in a disciplinary area uh, or a mathematical or statistical area. Um, and those you install within R, and we'll see that many times in the workshops. Um, you may need the R tools section of the Windows environment because some packages require a little bit more advanced material to to be installed and the R tools provides that for you. So basically I would say install R using this install R for the first time link and then the first time you install a package that requires R tools it's going to tell you you need to have R tools you come back here and download and install that. That's Windows. Uh, Mac I think is pretty straightforward there is no tools package um, although they do warn you that for certain uses if you're using X11 which is um, required by some packages you might need to install this make sure you have this X quartz installed um, so you know they document those things here but for most people you'll just be able to grab the latest package and it'll depend on the version that you have nowadays um, we're a couple of years into all Macs having Apple Silicon so presumably that will um, be the way to go for the future but if you still have an Intel Mac there's a package for you there uh, you just download it do the clicking on it like you usually would in the Mac and slide it into the folder sometimes you have to do that um, and you'll have R on your system again this has its own uh, graphical interface that's unique to the Mac OS um, that's useful for installing and updating packages um, and you know you may decide you like that interface for Linux uh, and this demo by the way is on a Debian Linux system um, you the packages are listed here but I would really strongly recommend that you use your Linux distribution to grab R from there um, I know that on Debian and I believe it's probably that way in other ones uh, you have to search for R hyphen base R R hyphen base will give you um, the the components of the base R system and you can use your um, your package manager uh, to install that uh, I would recommend that you install the packages as root uh, both the um, well of course you'll have to install base R as root and as you install packages within R I would recommend you log in as root run R and install packages there so that they're you know permanently available uh, in the core of the system if you did need to get the bleeding edge the latest uh, published package you can get those um, from the R site but I think that's you know really for developers most people are not going to need that um, so again rely on your distribution if you can all right so that's R base R and I'm just going to close that and I've talked about some of the links here I'm not going to talk about why R and you can read that if you're curious about it uh, I've talked about CRAN the comprehensive R archive network which is where those package listings are that we we were just looking at I've talked about the task views um, and I'm going to talk now about R studio so the company that makes R studio uh, recently or about a year ago at this point rebranded itself to call itself Posit because they want to um, expand and make products not just for R but for Python and other environments you know they're now supporting a lot of things it's really quite interesting because you can do sort of soup to nuts data science with their products um, but R studio is still the prime end-user interface that they develop which is a you know has 
so many wonderful helper features for writing our code and now they're going to be doing the same thing for python and stuff um, so this is a layer just to be clear it's a layer that runs on top of r you have your r installation which you could access through its own gui you could access through the command line um, and just you know type commands that way or run scripts that way um, but r studio is a development environment that runs on top so you go to the posit site click download um, and this is a company right uh, but they are very supportive of the whole R open source environment they develop a lot of packages including tidyverse which we're going to talk about and they make their products available uh, in a free version so there's a commercial version that that has support and uh, a, often a little bit of extra features uh, they do the same thing for their shiny server which another will be the topic of another workshop but there's always a free version so you can just go here download the free version uh, click on the appropriate version for your operating system um, there's again Linux Mac Windows the beautiful thing about our studio is that the interface is the same whether you're on Linux Mac or Windows and you may hear that you may, you may, may be thinking I don't care about Linux but if you're logging into a server that makes our studio available to users on the server which is is another great way to use it um, you're probably running Linux behind the scenes but your R studio interface is going to be identical so that's um, a big plus uh, you so just you know download these click on them uh, or download them and run the command that you would usually run to um, install a package on Linux and then you will have the RStudio uh, environment in your system so the RStudio environment looks something like this um, I've got mine set to a dark um, dark theme but you know by default it's a light theme um, but that's a topic for the future workshops this is just so you can get started get your R installed, get your R Studio installed, um, and then start to think about how you're going to use it. So how, how are you going to use it? Just a couple of words about that. You know, there's the Tidyverse, which a lot of our workshops focus on. The Tidyverse, because there are 20,000 packages in R, um, you need a place to get started. So this is a smaller collection of packages that do uh, basic but also sophisticated uh, data manipulation data visualization and let you take care of a lot of things in a way that is coherent uh, that different packages work together well um, and they're well documented on the tidyverse.org site each of the packages has a complete reference um, via the website cheat sheets things like that um, so it is a great place to get started but R you know you're not limited to that in R. R you have so many ways to accomplish tasks so many packages so you might find a different package that really does the things that you need and that's fine you know R is about giving you options but if you're wondering where to start um, Tidyverse is certainly a great place to start because of um, the coherence of the the way those packages are designed uh, with the one little caution it's that you know they say it themselves that they're opinionated so design decisions have been made that maybe um, it's the opposite of designing a Swiss army knife package that has many 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 different ways of doing things um, to accommodate all users tidyverse usually makes a choice it says you know, we'd like to do it this way um, simplifying the commands but for those who really don't like that particular way that tidyverse has done something you know you can always fall back on other packages in the R space okay so I think I've said enough about uh, getting started with R um, and this is designed just to be a quick intro where to go download R 
download our studio as a second layer on top of that um, and then you'll be ready to follow along with the code that's in the other workshops in this series so i hope you enjoy r and enjoy getting started with r thanks for your attention